Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. Set. 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 All right, this fight scheduled for eight in the lightweight division. Gabriel is now in the locker room, rested, Lock. watching brother Raymond Murataya take on Cesar Valenzuela. Murataya in the white and silver trunks, Valenzuela in the black trunks with the Mexican flag represented on the side. And a familiar face, Chris, in the corner of Valenzuela alongside Capatillo. Yeah, for you at home, you uh, might not be able to tell with the mask on, but that's uh, former world champion Antonio DeMarco in the corner with Capatillo in the corner of Valenzuela. Lending his hand as a as a coach tonight. And, uh, lo looking at the body type and the way that the mark it, it, it really does make sense. And, and what great experience to have there um, added to your corner alongside Capatillo as uh, Robert Garcia and uh, Gabriel Murataya Sr. in the corner of Raymond. And Raymond's style is quite different than that of his brother. He's more of a, a technical boxer, uh, likes to outsmart Neutral everything, corner. and likes to Stay drop up. the right and Four, drops his opponent balance way here in round one. Six. He chopped seven, him right down with that right hand. Eight. Give me gloves. You okay? Love you. Okay. Let's go, box. Classic move on a taller opponent. Jab, jab right below the heart. Straight hand over your lead, over the lead hand. Chops his opponent down to the mat. Beautiful setup. Great right hand by Raymond Morataya. Raymond is 9 0 with seven knockouts. Before the knockdown, you were mentioning the difference between him and his brother. He's a lot more calculated, um, a lot more poised with the way that he fights, sets things up, just like we saw just there. And even now, he's not jumping on his man. He, he's going back to what worked. Yeah, twice as many fights, although he is the younger brother. Very dynamic in his offense. Good defense as well. Has a very strong ring presence, does the young Raymond Mordetaya. Right. And Valenzuela right. seems to have Step recovered back. just yeah. fine. More of a flash Watch knockdown, if anything. Like kind of just Be had his, his knee down on the canvas. But nonetheless, um, a good right hand there from Valenzuela over that left glove of Murataya. Got to tighten that guard up a little bit there. And that's one thing that I've seen from the table of Valenzuela. He does have a good right hand. It's long, it's chopping, um, and, he, and it comes with some power. I mean, his hands are almost like to his knees <laughs> when he puts his, his gloves down. And, uh, you know, it can cause some problems there, especially when he has that strong strong jab, too. They're really trying, is Capatillo, to help him fight taller and use more of that reach. That's really not what you saw on tape prior to him working with Jorge. Not at all. He's a very heavy front-footed fighter, um, meaning he's, he's coming forward, he's offensive, doesn't leave a lot of room for defense, especially, you know, being that tall, long body, having a big big target for your opponent. And even though Capitillo said that they're working on him fighting long, I still don't see it. I still see him being very heavy on that front foot. He's got his head over his front leg. Time! And a good opening round as Murataya scores a knockdown. And there's brother Gabriel Murataya looking on. as the tide has turned now that Raymond's back in action. As I said, stabbing jab to the body there, like right below the heart, and then just the right hand over the top, shooting right across the shoulders of his opponent, clips the chin, perfectly set up and executed. Jab to the body, right hand to the head, and then later in the round, the combination that I saw over and over when watching Tape of Valenzuela was a lead left hook, straight right hand combination, right. a three and then a two that he landed three. with good power and actually was able to stun And you could hear before we switch to the Valenzuela corner, Garcia telling Morataya, be careful of the right. Be careful of the right. Yeah, that's kind of, that, from what I've seen in the tape, that's his signature punch. Our signature combination is the lead, lead left hook, uh, straight right hand. Don't push him down. Two don't scheduled push him down. for eight. Christina Poncher, Chris Algieri here with you. Our last fight on the uh, ESPN Plus call in the United States and international. We're going to be taking you all the way through our main event leading up to that fight, Jose Ramirez right. and Victor Poston. Don't forget, we've got a, a very entertaining fight, one that Chris and I are very much looking forward to. Arnold Barbosa Jr. taking on Tony Lewis in our co-main event.
it's 140 pounds. Very what? possible that that could seal the show tonight, that fight. No, 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 no. Great match. No, no, no. <laughs> There it is again, that lead hook, straight right hand yep. combination. And back comes Muratayo with the lead left hook of his own. Ooh. And a good left hand to the body from Venezuela. Good back and forth there, both men to the head and to the body. I said at the top of the show, Venezuela is, is no pushover. He is a tough cookie in there. Mm, good good body left shot. hand to the body from Raymond. Ooh, beautifully set up with the left hook upstairs and then left hook to the liver. And now you see Venezuela on the retreat. That punch definitely hurt him. Murataya, we always talk about the quality of sparring, sparring at the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. He's gone multiple rounds with Jose Ramirez, with Brian Lua, Neno, Saul Neno Rodriguez, uh, Ruben Rodriguez. I mean, that is quality sparring, quality work against world champions nice. and contenders and prospects. I mean, all levels there. And that prepares you for moments like this. I'd love to watch him in that sparring. I really like what Mordecai is doing in there. He's, he's, got, a, he's got a great in and out. He punches very, very clean and very, very sharp. Even on the inside, he's able to get off combinations. He has no extra, to call it fat on the punches. They're very, very clean. Work out. Let's go. Let him go. Sweat that little. Break. Relax. Just like that. Comes in, changes levels, rolls out, doesn't get touched. Really nice work from Mordecai. Hey! Let's go. Yeah, no lugar ahí atrás. Valenzuela, just one fight since November of 2017. He fought Christian Gonzalez back in June of 2019. But down. after taking Mucho that fight, oh, and yeah. down goes Raymond Mordecai. Six, seven. Hey, yeah, here he goes. He's kind of pointing to the Good. back of his head as if Go. he got clipped on the back of his head, but nonetheless, that is counted as a knockdown here in round two. And I was going to say earlier, Venezuela, not known as a puncher when you look at his record, but only five KOs and his 15 wins. But from the tape that I saw, he's got some pretty heavy hands. Time. And we just saw that. Yeah, both Morataya brothers down in their respective fights, and both fighters in this one okay, down. Yeah. Valenzuela down this in round, round one, and now Murataya down in round two. Smart, stand the outside. This is not wow. what was expected by the Murataya boys. You know, I'm sure when they were coming in here tonight, but hey, let's see if he can dig down deep just like his brother did and pull out the victory. I don't think neither, neither brother was hurt um, when they got knocked down. As you're looking at a, a good right hand there from Murataya, and then we'll show you the knockdown. Big looping shots there from, from Venezuela to try and answer that straight right hand. And then here, we see really good work on the inside from Raymond Munataya. Lands a left uppercut straight right hand, but keeps that right hand down a little too long after landing it and gets clipped with a left hook high on the head. Yeah, that a was A lot of times, those shots, they twick your neck just a little bit and you lose your legs for a second. Quick flash knockdown. I don't think he was too hurt when he got up, but a knockdown nonetheless. Coming up next, somebody that's quite familiar with knockdowns and knockouts, that is Hot prospect Elvis Rodriguez, 8 0 and 1, 8 knockouts. He'll be up next taking on Cody Wilson. Looking forward to that. I, I, I love watching that kid fight. So each fighter trading knockdowns, and we got a pretty even fight here now going into round three between Raymond Murataya and Cesar Valenzuela. Nice little hip left hook there, lead by Murataya. Fake the jab, hooked over the top. Caught the punches of Puno Sarriot. Caught Valenzuela great on top of the head. There it is again, that combination from Valenzuela there. Lead left hook, right hand. Ooh, good body shot. Good left hand to the body there from Valenzuela. Suéltalo, suéltalo, suéltalo. Let's go. Curious to see how Morataya deals with this kind of adversity, getting dropped at the end of that last round. It definitely seems like he's recovered. <laughs> but seems to be fighting a little more cautious. 
from Murataya, lead right hand in that exchange. Valenzuela, man, he's, he, he gets hit with a good shot, he comes right he back. He sure does, he answered with the left and then a right hand up top to counter. That's a dangerous man right there, a guy that get, gets hit clean and then is already throwing the comeback. A little Antonio DeMarco in yes, there as yes, well. Yes, yeah. I definitely see a lot of similarities, body type, style, um, and I think that, that that's a really good addition to, to the camp of Valenzuela. Suéltalo, suéltalo, let's go. Good work with the jab and that lead left hand, kind of threw it as a little hook there. Mm -hmm. he switched, he did that earlier in the round as well. He fakes that little jab and whoops it out, hooks off the jab. Something you don't see from a lot of fighters these days, although that's been a classic move used for decades. Good reset round for Raymond Morataya. Fought very cautiously, didn't get him any more big shots. His output slowed down a yep. little bit, uh, like you said, a little bit more cautious, but um, right, I don't right think nothing so. being economical. And there is a look at Victor Postal, 31 and 2 with 12 knockouts, getting another crack at a world title. Two of them, two belts, WBC and WBO belt on the line for Jose Ramirez tonight in our main event, 12 round of the action at 140 pounds. A lot of eyes will be on that fight. As he is cool, calm, and collected, that's just, I mean, that's just how he always is. Nothing um, new. Being around him as much as I have throughout his career uh, since being signed with top rank. But he is watching his stable mates now as he has sparred with Raymond Murataya for this camp and beyond. And uh, also getting his mind right, getting ready to do what he has to do finally after the fight has been scheduled. This is now the third Oops. time because of the global pandemic that is COVID-19 that has caused uh, two dates to be rescheduled. And now here we are finally, third time is the charm in the bubble off Vegas, Nevada. Round there's, four scheduled for eight. There's that lead hook off the jab by Murataya that we saw a couple times in the last round. Had great success with that throughout the night. Love the mix-up, up and down from Murataya. Really sh shifting up, changing up his punches really well. The variation in his punches right, has been right. tremendous Step tonight. Back. Step back. Step back. And I think Step after back. being a little Box. more cautious in, in round three, we may see him pick up the, the pace here a little bit more, press the action a little bit more. He has eight rounds to work in, sure so does. there's plenty of time. We're, we're not even halfway through this bout yet. Ooh, good counter by. Oh, beautiful right hand by Murataya as he Don't backs down the head. up against Don't the rope. behind the head. Valenzuela looking to hold. And that was the shot that Valenzuela did not see. Very, very tricky stuff on Murataya. Letting that right hook go. And for once, Valenzuela does not try to come right back with combination, so you know he got hurt there. Valenzuela also holding with that left hand there. By himself a little bit more time as he backed himself into the corner. Murataya, though, calm, collected, patient, true to the book on him. Doesn't get over anxious or overexcited as he lands a left hand to the body there. Yeah, the first thing I thought when I watched Raymond fight was poised. Mm -hmm. Very, very poised. Yeah, and only nine professional fights, this being his 10th at 23 years old. 23 That's years not old. always something Tremendous. you would use to describe no. a fighter at that age or that level of experience. As he tags to the body with both the right and left hand. I like the adjustment from last round. A little more cautious, but still landing big shots, still breaking his man down. And had Valenzuela in uh, all types of trouble about a minute ago in this round. I think I take it back. This is an improved Valenzuela from what I've seen 
in some of his past fights. Jorge Capetillo has, has done some good work with him. Good oh, with body work on both sides. Yeah, he shot that right hand over the left guard of Fontuela and then came back downstairs. As he's still cautious and catches him with a counter right hand. Two of them in a row, left, right. Continuing to pour on the action here is Murataya. Just under 20 seconds here in round four. Suéltalo. Very close Suéltalo. to stepping in there. Suéltalo. Strong round for Raymond Danger ah. Murataya. His best round of the fight so far. Excellent, excellent work. That's how you finish a round strong, too, Chris. Something yeah, you, I'm, I'm you really stress to these guys. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Good. Yeah. Any kind of round that could potentially be up in the air, finish strong, leave the judges the last thing in their mind being you being the man on top. See, this is where we see those right hands doing all the damage. Round number four, beautiful combination, doubling, tripling up the right hand, something you don't normally see from somebody. There's one, there's two, and why not one more? Really had Valenzuela in a tremendous amount of trouble there. You see the legs wobble. And Murataya looking to finish, putting more hurt on his man, pressuring him into the into the round, uh, the corner, rather. Keep your punches but up. Great work from Raymond Murataya. Right hands, right hands, and more right Second hands. Out. And a little left hook, too. Great work yeah, for Raymond Mortai in round number four. Okay. I don't want this. Box. And a stern warning for Valenzuela about the holding here as we enter round five. Christina Poncha, Chris Algieri here with you. Uh, both fighters have been knocked down in this fight. Valenzuela round one, Murataya round two. But since then, Murataya in the last two rounds has been dominant, particularly the end of round four. As he's... Right. Putting right. more right. and more right. pressure right. on right. Valenzuela, but Valenzuela right. still dangerous with that right. combination, particularly left hook, right, right hand. Right hand. Correct. Yep. I really like what Raymond's doing here. He's he's walking his man into his right. You notice he keeps coming forward, he throws a jab, and then he throws that lead left hook like that. He wants Valenzuela moving into his right hand, and that's a great way to do it. I mean, it almost literally pushes the yep. fighter's head over to that right hand. He's, been, he's been able to hurt him the most with the right hand. That's a good adjustment from the young Raymond Wilde to walk him into that shot that's causing all the problems. Keep those punches up, guys. Keep them up. Holding with that left hand while he shoots the right. A little tricky there. Oh, he's got a lot of yeah. this leave does uh, Valenzuela. You're not coming out of that Capitillo gym without picking up some tricks. Especially with the savvy veteran yeah, as Antonio DeMarco helping you out too. He's been in there with the who's who in his career. Which seems like he's been at it for decades. Yeah, exactly. We've been watching him for 20 years at this point. Up and down with the jab. Everything with the jab. That's what you hear Robert Garcia saying there in the bubble to his fighter, Murataya. Another jab, good. Another jab. And I like how Murataya has been able to still stay explosive. He's throwing big shots, but we're in round number five. He's still looking very sharp and snappy. Speaks worlds to his conditioning coming into this fight. And that's part of the reason when he got the first call um, a few months ago when the uh, first round of fights came back. He, he said that he wasn't ready. He was helping his father uh, with a part-time job, trying to make some money for the family, and didn't feel that he was in tip-top shape and actually declined that first opportunity because he knew the caliber uh, of conditioning and, and, and where he wanted to be when he made his return. And, uh, and, and here he is, and, and to your point, 100% looks to be in great shape and, and was ready for this moment, this opportunity. And needs, and needs it against a tough guy like Valenzuela. This guy's here. This guy's not just here for a payday. He's a tough guy trying to win. And it is a step Oh, up. beautiful shot with that left hand and then the right to end the round. Again, another stamp on that at the end of that round from Raymond Danger Murataya. There's a look into the locker room of Jose Ramirez. He's getting some instruction there from Russell Mora, who will be the third man in the ring with him and Postal tonight. Probably 
Ramirez talking a little bit about that holding and that clinching maybe that Postal does. When you watch tape on him, you get familiar with him. It's something that he does. And, you know, that's an opportunity for the fighters or the trainers to, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, express little things of, of concern or to look out for. 100%. That's when that stuff gets brought up. You kind of want to place a little seed in the mind of the referee just to make sure that they are, are seeing that, seeing what, you, what you've seen before. And uh, Ramirez had said that multiple times during the fighter meeting that uh, Postal likes to hold, doesn't like to engage as much um, as he might act like he does. And there's Postal. Box. Maybe a little FaceTime action before he gets into the ring. His family back in Ukraine and his wild card family back in Los Angeles watching him as they've gone through several training camps as well to prepare for this moment. That's coming up in our main event tonight. This one, round six scheduled for eight. The first eight rounder for Raymond Murataya. He's been scheduled his last three fights for six rounds, but has never seen round six, so that's a first for him. Valenzuela, mind you, has been eight rounds a few times in his career with twice as many fights as Murataya. Yeah, I think he's been eight rounds three or four times, yep. and, there's and he's a even won some of them. Nice left hand there from Murataya, and Robert loves his fighters working off that lead hand. Oh, there's a nice left hand. The strength of that lead hand of Murataya, we're seeing a lot of blood coming from the nose of Valenzuela. You can actually hear him, you can hear his breathing. That's one thing, when your nose is bleeding, your, your, your breathing is obstructed, and what happens is you now fight with your mouth open. It's much more dangerous to get hit with a punch with your mouth open when it's closed. There's that same combination that we've seen multiple times from Valenzuela. His best combination, which is that lead left hook, right hand, landed high in the head of Murataya, who took it very well this time. Murataya with the one-two of his own there, shooting that jab down the middle, following up with the right hand. I don't mind the cautious Murataya. I mean, he's, he's, he's smart, he's seeing what's coming, he's still landing big shots. Even his jabs like that. Yeah, everything. Just, everything is sharp. He's got his eyes open, and he's very aware of his defensive posture after. Nice left hand in that combination. Again, there's a nice overhand right by Murataya. Valenzuela showing, showing some chin. Oh, he's a he's a super tough guy. Taking some big shots from Murataya all night. Oh, Ooh, there's another one almost on cue. And you kind of feel Murataya picking up the pace of it, breaking his man down more and more. And that's the thing about Ooh. fighting it, Ooh, fighting an eight rounder. You've got time to break your guy down. Oh, that right hand is something nasty from Murataya. The referee is taking a close look at Valenzuela at this moment. A 10-second bell is coming on, and Murataya would love to get a stoppage here. Backs off a little bit here. Ever so cautious, and Valenzuela gets out of that round. But, man, there you go. It's all you, all right? The fight's all yours. If you keep doing the way you're doing it, the fight's all yours, all right? All right? But you could also, if you want to pick it up a little more, you could even stop him, right? Because as soon as you land those punches, the ref steps in. They're ready to stop it, right? So when you see that, just land two or three more and they'll stop it. Okay. Feel good? And that's why he's one of the best in yeah. the game. That was yep. on point instruction okay, there. Two more? Very uh -huh. accurate from Robert Garcia. Right on the money. I'm curious what's going on in this corner. If they're thinking about stoppage, they still want him to go out. Tranquilo, but... Eight. He's great work for what a tie in that round. Really just started to pull, put on the pressure, turn up the heat as the round went on, finished that round really strong, had Valenzuela in all types of trouble. Referee looking on, hey, looking for an opportunity something. to stop it Take if it possible. Many punches, right? The right hand has really Stop. been doing a tremendous amount of damage. But everything set up by that lead jab and left hook, just like that. Mm. Well, Beautiful back, work back, picking up right back. where he left Bucks. off is Gabriel Murataya. Excuse me, Raymond. And I knew how yeah. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> One of us is going to at some point. It was oh, bound to happen. Shot. 
That was a nice right hand to the body from Raymond Murataya. Just cool, calm, and collected is Raymond Murataya as he comes in, letting his hands go, and defending at the same time. A little smile from Valenzuela. And he's like, bring it. And that's exactly what Morataya has done, particularly with that right hand. Yeah, Valenzuela has been taking the left hooks Ooh. pretty well, but that right hand has really been on fire. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Break! Step back clean, step back. Watch your head coming inside. Watch your head. Deep breaths from Valenzuela with his back against the ropes. He's definitely earning his pay tonight. At this point, you, you notice the body postures where these guys are in the that. ring. Valenzuela is basically just going from corner to corner. Muratai is controlling the center of the ring, being the ring general in there, being the boss, really. Mm, oh, beautiful shot. work up top and then down to the body with that right hand of Murataya. And I really like how he's able to pick up the intensity, but he doesn't get jittery or doesn't look out of control no matter what. He's poised, composed, and can really lay the hammer with that right hand. Yep. It, I, I like his, beautiful. Also, his understanding of where he is in the round. He'll pick up the pace, build the fire, keep it stoked, and then really pick it up at, at the end of the round, which he's done the last three rounds in a row. Little tricky feints on the inside too for Murataya to throw off that, that timing. And the referee has seen enough. Too many, he has too many. waved the fight off here in round seven, and Raymond Danger Murataya is victorious. Honestly, not that surprised. I, I really could tell the ref was looking for his spot to step in. Uh, it was becoming kind of a one-sided beating at that point, so... Mordetaya was the boss, was doing all the damage, was also defending quite well. It wasn't like uh, Valenzuela really had a chance, was landing punches, and was still in the fight. So not a bad stoppage as far as I'm concerned. Incredible work by Raymond Mordetaya. Had to come back from a knockdown, early round knockdown in round number two. So that was uh, that was a good test for, for the 23-year-old. Definitely a step up in competition for Murataya, but he takes care of business and improves his record now to 10-0 with eight KOs. And Robert Garcia is now 3-0 on the night and will get a little well-deserved break before making his way back for our main event with Jose Ramirez in the corner. A short two-fight reprieve. That's it. <laughs> and then back to work. Just enough time to get his fighter ready. We still have to make this one official here, and we'll still take you back through a couple of those early knockdowns, some highlights of the fight. But good to see Raymond Murataya back. Congratulations to him and his brother, both victorious tonight, and the whole Murataya family. Coach Yovan Nava, who is watching on, not there in the bubble, but wanted to make sure that he got some love here tonight. Let's go to Mark Chinook and make this one official in the bubble. Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand, referee Mike Ortega calls a stop to this bout at two minutes and 24 seconds of round number seven, declaring your winner by technical knockout, Raymond Danger Murataya. And I know that one felt good for him after watching the success of his brother and